Hello, my name's Michael and welcome to Bolsover TV. Here's what's making the headlines this week. As the cost of living is on the increase, we find out where you can go for advice. An exclusive membership deal for households to enjoy the activities at the council's Go Active Leisure Facility is now available. Visitors to Creswell can take a trip back in time to the Ice Age and we meet the only female accredited gong master in the East Midlands. But first, Bolsover District Council is set to receive a share of a £2.6 billion pot of money to help deliver local projects. The Shared Prosperity Fund will be allocated to all district and unitary authorities across England. But the total amount the authority will receive will be decided through a funding formula rather than a bidding competition. It could mean that projects like promoting the district and working with partners to increase tourism, enhancing biodiversity and developing attractive neighbourhoods, and providing good quality council housing where people choose to live, will receive extra funding and allow the council to develop its own ambitions as highlighted through their Vision Bolsover document. The fund is due to be launched in the spring and the council have agreed to work with partners and write an investment plan that will detail the projects that the money will be used for. Councillor Liz Smith told us what the fund could mean to the district and all of its local communities. Well, as you know, we are a growth-centred council. So all of the plans that we'll be making will be focused on growth, creation of jobs, skills, all those sorts of things that bring good things to our district. So the first is sort of about place, about perhaps um, things that you do in the built environment. The second one is around businesses, attracting businesses, wealth, good jobs. And the final one is about skills. Um, we've just had our skills audit done, so we know exactly what we need here in the district. Well, from now, what we'll do is we will go away and we will make a plan so that we can include all those things that we want to get so that we get good outcomes for everybody that lives here, more wealth to our district. Now, as the cost of living increases, you may be thinking about how you can reduce your household expenditure or increase the money that's available to you. Well, energy bills are increasing. Filling up your car is getting more and more expensive. National insurance contributions are going up. The cost of everyday essentials is growing and even the price of a stamp has now increased. So where can you turn for help if you're struggling to make ends meet? Well, we spoke to the Citizens Advice Bureau to see what advice that they can give to people. We cover a whole breadth of things. I think people don't always realise just how much we can help with. You know, if you've got an employment issue, um, you want to know about a family or relationship issue, if you've got debt, if you've got benefit questions or, or things happening, um, consumer issues. Now, most of the time, we are a one-stop shop, shop. We can, um, you know, w work out what, what's happening with the individual with the client and uh, the issues that they're facing and we kind of almost um, because we operate holistically we can tease out what all those separate issues are and then look at what advice is needed to address them so we are um, an impartial confidential service uh, that's high quality you know we're independently assessed on our quality so when people come to us they can be sure that they're getting the right advice and that's something that clients often feedback is you know I, I came to you because I knew that you'd know the answer. What would you say to anyone who perhaps needs your help but doesn't feel confident in coming forward to, to contacting you? It, it, it's really difficult I think to to say to yourself or to anybody else I need help. Once people have sought help they're already moving forward. And that first step is a hard one to take, but um, I would say to anyone, you know, please do take it. It can change everything. 
The council's Go Active Leisure facility is opening up its exclusive household membership deal once again, offering up to six people living in the same household the chance to enjoy public swim sessions, access to over 100 group exercises classes a week, the chance to get fit in the brand new gym, or time to relax in the thermal suite, there's sure to be something for everyone. And you can get all this for just £400 for the year. The membership is available to sign up to until the 31st of May 2022. Bolsover District Council is warning its residents to be aware of a potential scam involving the council tax energy rebate. Scam artists are phoning or emailing residents pretending to be from the council and requesting bank details so the rebate can be paid. The council have stated they would never contact people in this way requesting their bank details and urge residents not to pass on any personal information. If anyone receives an email or phone call of this manner, then please contact the council on 01246 242 424 and ask for our council tax department. Now Creswell is about to tell a story of resilience, adaptation and creativity and take you on a journey back through time to the Ice Age. The history and artifacts of Creswell Crags is being brought to life through a collection of eight signage plaques and rubbing boards created from the actual objects found at the world famous crag site throughout the many years that have gone by. This family friendly Creswell Rail Heritage Trail has been launched to encourage visitors to the area and take them around the center of the village to the popular Creswell crags. And local councillor Duncan McGregor has told us a bit more about what to expect from the trail. There's eight plaques made, and they're really nice brass rubbings. Uh, and they start at the train station at Cresswell and go right the way through uh, to Cresswell Crags. And the idea is basically to have a, a trail through, uh, but that would encourage uh, particularly school children. So the rubbings, we would think that the kids could use that on the way down, identify the, the different species of which were at Cresswell Crags over a long period of over 12, 14,000 years ago. But we've had some good comments already from people who've seen them. Well, what are these about? So this today is to try to help them to understand the reason why them plaques were made and for them to encourage them to do the archaeological trail from Cresswell train station down into Cresswell Crags. But the, th the point really is to uh, develop tourism as well in Bozova district and to demonstrate this wonderful site that we've got at Cresswell. It's a lovely gorge, it really is a lovely gorge. Um, I, I go regular, but so do a lot of local people. So it's not just local people we want, we want the wider world to see what we've got on our doorstep. And finally, if I say these three words to you, bliss, rest, relaxation, what do you think I'm talking about? I'm sure. There could be numerous things. Sadly, it's not a week away in the sunshine is what I choose. But these three words are synonymous with gong baths. Gong baths are a type of inactive meditation where you can bathe in the healing vibrations of sound, which dates back to ancient cultures such as Egyptian, Greek and the Roman times too. And they're enjoying a bit of a resurgence. So when the production team here told me that we have the only female accredited gong master in the East Midlands, operating in Upper Langworth, then we had to go along and see what it was all about, didn't we? Of course we did. A gong master uses these instruments, their gongs, to help people relax, to drop below their thoughts, because we're very, very busy and we get very stressed and we're full on all the time and we don't make time to stop. They lie on the yoga mat, get covered up in their blankets, head on a pillar, I give them an eye mask, and that's it really. I talk to them a little bit, sort of guided meditation if you like. We're never in this moment now, mm -hmm. in the flow, relaxing, just really calm. And then I create sound for about 40 minutes to an hour. 
And then I leave them a little bit in silence at the end. And then I bring them back gently and, and that's it. You, you don't have to do anything. So there's no positions, there's no words to learn. There's nothing. It's really easy. First conversation you're going to have with your body. It knows what you want from it now. You're lying on the floor. Your eyes are closed. If nobody's been to a class mm -hmm. or they don't know anything about non class what would your message to them be? Oh, come and have a go. Yeah, it'll blow your mind. Well, I don't know about you, but that certainly whetted my appetite to go and give it a try. It doesn't take much for me to fall asleep, though, I must admit. I'm afraid, though, that's all we've got time for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV when we visit a forest school in Whitwell Wood who have become pen pals with a similar school in Maryland, USA. How about that? Stay tuned. For now, though, goodbye. Goodbye.